Hey guys, welcome to another episode. My name is Will and I am headed to Nevada City to install my Cascade Camper build. Uh, so currently I just pulled over at this random gas station and I'm gonna set up some lunch. So I packed myself a couple of different things because I wanted to make this a camping experience for myself starting from the first day. So I got some hard boiled eggs here for the next couple days. Coconut flour tortillas, cauliflower sandwich thins. Of course, loads of salad, cause that's, I eat tons of that stuff. And then all the good stuff, all the meats are down here, which I gotta get to. So this morning I cooked up a storm, including some pasta and these chicken breasts. So this is what I'm gonna be having for lunch today, along with a little bit of salad. So this is the first time I'm gonna be sleeping inside the van. And I'm pretty excited, but at the same time, I'm kind of scared because it's a hollow van. Um, I do have uh, some curtains that I'm going to be hanging up. And from Amazon, I ordered a small little magnet so I can hook them up to the ceiling. It's going to be raining tonight and it's a hollow van, so hopefully I'll be able to get some sleep. But you guys are going to be in for the ride, so join me. This tastes pretty good. Cold, but it tastes good. So one thing I did correctly before I left was I bought this little trash bin that goes right inside my cubby hole. But yeah, I already used it today. Check it out. <laughs> if you guys are interested in purchasing this, I'll put a link down in the description below. So with lunch out of the way, I think now it's time for us to take off. I think there's about another five hours left of driving till we get to Nevada City, over and out. Wow, look at all those swarm of birds. Woo! Just pulled over to this place called Vista Point. I needed a little break. Plus I needed to put on my long sleeve t-shirt that has a turtleneck because it got really sunny from the west. hit the road once again and I think there's about two hours of driving left till we get to Nevada City and then after that we're gonna be camping in this van and guess what guys unfortunately can you believe it I uh, I forgot my freaking pillow so I think I'm gonna have to go to a local REI or Target and get myself a pillow a temporary pillow for for tonight at least It's about seven o'clock right now, and I am probably about 10 minutes away from Nevada City. So yes, we finally made it. Before I got here, I stopped at the local Target and I bought myself a brand new pillow. So now I got the pillow, now I got my air mattress, which I hope works because the last couple of times that I used it, the air kind of deflated in the middle of the night, maybe because it was too cold, I don't know. But, but anyways, we're almost there. Just want to give you guys a little update. This area is so beautiful with all these pine trees. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've been driving around probably for the last half hour looking for a place to park the car, but I couldn't find anything. So um, everywhere that I go, it says between four to 7 a.m. you can't park. I guess they know that campers come here. They just stay here for the night and leave. So, but I thought I'd stop here temporarily just to set up my sleeping stuff as well as my curtain. And here are my trusty magnets that we're gonna be using on this curtain. Hopefully it stays up. All right, so here we go. I set up my curtain, which is kind of okay. And then I have my bed here, which is an air mattress, and I hope it doesn't deflate but I think it will. And then here's my brand new pillow and my sleeping bag and pretty much everything else. So now it's gonna be a challenge to find some place to sleep because a lot of these places have uh, no parking signs. See what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see that. 
no parking 4 to 7 a.m., two hour parking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, let's go find a place. Three hours later. So I'm going to be staying at the Nevada Inn tomorrow night, and they were nice enough to let me park here temporarily until the morning. So in the morning, I'm going to unload everything uh, into my room and then head off to Cascade Camper. But as of right now, I'm inside the van I'm, and I'm in my bed. And tomorrow I'll give you guys a little update. For now, have a good night, good morning, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. morning rough night of sleep last night uh, the air mattress as predicted was horrible yeah I didn't get any sleep at all <laughs> it was raining really hard as well yeah I guess I survived the night I woke up a couple times I reinflated the mattress of course I had to turn the car on because the back power wouldn't turn on unless I had the car on so and it dropped down to 42 degrees last night can you believe that yeah so it was really cold and I wasn't prepared for it but Luckily, I survived and we're here. So anyways, uh, the day begins and I think I need to go and check into my room, but it's about seven o'clock in the morning, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. What's up guys? Finally made it to Cascade Camper and there is my van getting overhauled with the Cascade Camper build. So right now it's completely empty and by the time I get back tomorrow, hopefully this thing will be full, but uh, there's the floor, there's the cabinets, and uh, a couple of the wall pieces here. So yeah, this should be exciting. Looking forward to it. So, got some good news. The van is currently at Cascade Campers getting its build. Last night's sleep sucked. <laughs> so hopefully sleeping in the van tomorrow night, I'm hoping that it'll be finished by tomorrow. So tomorrow's sleep should be a whole lot better. And that is going to be on the next episode. And hopefully by tomorrow I can sleep better. <laughs> Finally, when this whole thing gets put together with a brand, with a bed actually, and not an air mattress like I had. But anyways, guys, this episode is effectively over. Stay tuned to the next episode where I show you guys the complete van build and sleep in it for the first time on our way back to Orange County. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.